eight different gardens, each unique in its own way. Once again, the Williams Lake Garden Club is hosting another garden tour, a popular community event that provides more than just an afternoon of flower gazing. Of course, on the garden tour, we have um, quilts and other artists, quilters and um, last year or two years ago, we had potters, not this year. We have musicians, spinners and weavers are participating. Um, and the artist, Kat Prevett, is going to be in one of the gardens. So it's kind of interesting just to see the artwork as well as the gardens, which are a form of art as well. Inspired by the garden tours in Kelowna, the first garden tour in Williams Lake was held in 2011, and the club has come a long way since. Well, I actually started the garden club in 2008, and uh, we had nine members at that time and now we're up to over 60, I think. Um, I, when we moved here, I asked if there was a garden club and my neighbor Maureen um, said, there wasn't, why don't you start one? So I thought, all right. So I called a meeting at the library and then I found a place where we could hold our meetings for free and we met um, the first Thursday of every month. And it was just to get people together that like gardening. Bringing gardening enthusiasts together, the club not only exchanges insider tips and tricks, but they also help introduce gardening to new members, sharing reasons why they love this hobby. To just train this to go up. My father liked to garden and probably I was enjoyed it with him. Not to a great extent, but a little bit. And then when I was in Kelowna, I grew to like it and it was sort of my R&R &R after work. The current local garden tour runs every two years. However, even after dozens of tours, veteran gardeners like Jerry still end the tour with new ideas and tricks they can't wait to try. This rock was buried up to about here and then I dug this out and have planted it. With, um, with each little tour you see different things that maybe you could do in your garden. Maybe putting colors together, you know, like a blue flax with a yellow um, yarrow or a yellow daisy or just sort of color combinations. And sometimes it's the edging, uh, how to edge your garden, or it's also seeing different plants that you haven't seen before and then you get go on a quest to find them. Tickets for the tour are $10 each and available at Open Book, but proceeds from the tour support more than just the club. Once we've paid our expenses, which we keep to a minimum, it's mostly volunteer work, um, then the proceeds go to a different charity in Williams Lake. We've donated to the Huff Memorial Fund, um, the Women's Contact Society. This year we're going to, the proceeds, all of them are going to the Boys and Girls Club. Combining both local art and beautiful flowers, the tour starts this Saturday at 10 a.m.